well, I kind of deferred to my colleagues in the sector uh, and allowed kind of 20 of the kind of leading heads of fundraising and sector consultants to define that for me and to think about the organisations that they thought were outstanding in those terms. And when they talk about great fundraising, they're talking about organisations that have achieved substantive growth, doubling, trebling, or maybe even quadrupling the amount of income that they've been able to generate from that fundraising. It's so successful that in a way it transforms the organisation, transforms the way that that organisation is able to address the societal need that it's uh, aiming to, um, to address. Um, we were able to get these leaders to identify organisations that they thought were outstanding and then look at the patterns in that and then pick out the top five organisations that people nominated uh, and then conduct some interviews with the leaders of these organisations <coughs> and also the senior members of their team, so that we could get a sense of, all right, so this has been you know, excellent fundraising over the last few years, but what is it about that that's distinctive? What is it about the way that organisations run? And what is it about the leadership that kind of got them to that point? So what I'm going to do is talk about a little bit about the leaders and their characteristics, and in general terms what we found about that. I'll talk to you a little bit then about what those leaders did in the organisation, in terms of the actions that they take and the things that they manage. Uh, and I'll conclude by giving you really what it boiled down to at the end of the day. It's not quite so much about what people do in organisations, it's how people think. And that how people think is the third part of what I'll talk about. So that's where I'm headed 